Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Brother Paxton. I am here once again in the Falling Springs area of Rockbridge County, Virginia, the Rockbridge of my ancestors. I'll tell you, you know, sometimes in a workaday week, day after day after day, week after week, month after month, and it's usually not much longer than that for us before we get here, but coming here is like a, a shot of life in the arm. You know what I mean? I just really get pumped up, excited. We have learned a whole bunch of new stuff this time that has absolutely excited me, and uh, I'm ready to preach the gospel. Uh, everywhere I go, I like to tell people about Jesus, whether it's uh, the Stonewall Jackson Memorial Cemetery, or the Paxton House, or the Falling Springs Presbyterian Church, or anywhere that I go, I like to tell people what Jesus has done in my life and what he wants to do in theirs. You know, one of the easiest ways it, that I have found in living for God for 37, almost 38 years now to defeat discouragement in my life is this verse of scripture I'm gonna share with you. Sometimes we all get discouraged, right? And it's, it's an easy trap to fall into. It's a little harder of a pit to dig yourself out of if you let it go too long. So at the very onset of Satan's attack of discouragement, here's a scripture that I want you to cherish in your life. 2 Corinthians 10, 5. Here's what it says. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself or lifts itself up against the knowledge of God and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Now that verse of scripture is a familiar verse and sometimes we have that tendency to just kind of skip right over it. You know, when we read it fast, we've read that before. But if you really listen to what's being said there and you dig into this verse, you find out that you have complete authority as a Christian over the imaginations and the thoughts that Satan tries to put into your mind. And whatever's floating through your mind, it's not everything's of the devil. Sometimes you get these thoughts and imaginations from your own flesh and from your humanness and from your physical being. Whatever the case might be, if they don't line up with the Word of God, you need to cast them down and bring your thoughts into obedience to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the living Word. So when he says in there, uh, you know, a thing, a promise, something for us, it is truth. It is absolutely living. It is absolutely reality in the spiritual realm right now. And it's our job to cast down, you can't have it, you can't do it, you don't feel good, you're this, you're that, you, you, you sin too much, whatever the case. Cast that down, receive forgiveness if that's what you need, receive healing if that's what you need, receive blessing if that's what you need, whatever the case might be, and put the Word of God above the thoughts and the circumstances and the feelings that you have. You know what a lot of people's trouble is today? They believe that if they think it, it's truth. That's kind of crazy if you stop and, and think about that. Just because you think it don't make it true. You just might need a little work done on your head. But the Word of God is truth. And so we take authority over those thoughts. We bring them captive, the scripture said. Let's read that again. Casting down imaginations. And every high thing that exalts itself and lifts itself against the knowledge of God. Praise God, this is the knowledge of God right here. And bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So if I have a thought, let's just say, I'm angry at that person. Does that thought line up with the character of Christ? Oh, I'm sorry, Lord, forgive me. I've got no business letting anger take a hold in my mind or in my heart. Please forgive me. I love that man. You see, that's a very simplistic uh, look at it because we all know it's much more complicated than that. But that's the basic gist of how this thing works. It's thought replacement. I replace the thoughts of the fallen man with the thoughts of a holy God who redeemed my life, and now I begin to live and walk through the earth like Jesus lived and walked in the earth.
from this beautiful, beautiful place. You know, we have had six beautiful days here in Rockbridge County, and we've still got a few more to go. This is Brother Paxton. I'll be coming to you a little bit later on down the trail saying go with God, and he will go with you. Bless you now.